<laughs> Welcome, everybody, to a new episode of the Pulling These Podcast. We're live on Twitch right now. What's going on? That's right. I'm your host, Big L, with me as always. It's your boy, Fred Diablo. And it's me, it's me, it's DJ Ernie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we out here still living that quarantine lifestyle. You know, yeah, yeah. Hanging in there. But we yeah. have some bit of news to, to get us some uh, fuel into our fire. Oh. And, and after two and a half years of nonstop campaigning, it has finally happened. It happened. Yeah. We are getting the Snyder Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to come. Yo. We're safe. <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> We're it's safe. Happened. It's going to be cinema now. Cinema is yeah. going to come back to life. It's going to break all the records. Yeah. I'm just going to walk out of my house naked, just walk towards the sun, and just keep on walking. <laughs> and my life is done. Like It, it happened. Closed book. Yeah, Finally. The Snyder, Snyder Cut, Cut has been released. This specific cut that's coming out has been held back from the public by Warner Brothers. The man. No, no. no I... Not Warner Brothers. This is DC. Like they, they own DCs. They're the good guys. The, oh. This was being held back by, by Disney and and, oh. and and Marvel. Specifically Spider Man. Well most of the most of the Snyder guys <laughs> really felt that uh <laughs> Warner Brothers was holding it back, which it did though. Yeah, they did. Like it, it kind of <laughs> dicked them over. That's why I'm kind of like, eh, I'm going to watch it because I'm like, yo, they really didn't give him a chance to get his like, his film because they did him dirty. That's true. Because then you come to find out that the head of Warner Bros. at the time was do a bonus. He will get a bonus if the movie came out before a certain time so that he was getting extra money. And that's why he was like rushing it out Justice when League. when, uh, you know, the guy had the tragedy with his uh, st- uh, with his daughter and when yeah. he had to leave. So Warner Bros. did him dirty and be like, oh, you know. Let's just, you know, reshoot whatever he had and worked around it, edit some stuff out and hire this guy, Josh Whedon, to come in because and do Avengers. some reshoots. Yeah, like, it was mostly a Warner, Warner Brothers fault, fault for it. Yeah. So I was like, that's why I'm not too like, oh, a Snyder Cut. I'm like, I, I want to see it, but I'm not expecting much, but I still want to see it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued now. Like I wasn't really like enthused like with the whole campaign because you know there was a, there was some assholes on there that was just, like yo too much. And yeah. actually, the the Zack Snyder movement is yeah. was actually it turned out to be a good thing because all yeah. the merchandise that went to um, the Justice League Zack Snyder cut, all the yeah. the profits from that went to Suicide Awareness because of his daughter. Yeah. So, you know, there was some people doing good, but like the people that were just too into it or they just took it to the next level, you're like, yo, come on, relax. Yeah. The yeah. fuck Marvel guys were the problem. Yeah, yeah. And the guy, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's whatever. Everybody has different tastes. So, nah, yeah. But, I mean, the, the guy that, that took it that deep, basically, were, were the ones that were the problem that, yeah. that you know, it was... worshiped the Snyder Cut as if it was a thing, yeah. a completed thing before and they have all the permission now and they still think it's gonna be more than it's gonna be mm-hmm. you know what i mean like like they get to give him 20 to 30 million dollars to finish up the film that he has already he has like his cut of film but it still has to be a ton of work to be done yeah so it has to be effects added in and 20 20 that 20 to 30 range is not that much in hollywood you know what i mean for a film like justice league that's so, true from what i so, hear it's going to be episodic though yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like with that, with that twenty to thirty, it'll be more, it'll be more useful. It was like if they do it like episodic. Yeah, so, that's true. You know, but like people are expecting like there'll be like a totally different movie, but it's like nah, it's gonna be like the ending is probably gonna be uh, different than it was in the original theater, the one they released in theaters. Yeah, I don't think and in any way this is gonna save Justice League. No. I don't think so. I feel like this, you know, what I think is going to let us all down is that it's going to be the same exact movie. It's just at the end you see Darkseid and that's it. Yeah. (laughs) 
you know you get to see dark side in the beginning and at the end oh okay yeah. Yeah. there's a scene in, in the beginning supposedly where dark side is young yeah and he's fighting um <laughs> wonder woman's well he crew. in the, the original the opening scene in the justice league he yeah was supposed, dark side was supposed to be in it, <laughs> it says, yes. it's a, which would have made more sense because right. it's like come on yeah that's true and supposedly martian manhunter and green lantern were supposed to be in it but I think that's just bullshit. I don't think that's gonna happen. That's my opinion. I don't think it's gonna happen at all. Because what he showed, um, Zack Snyder showed like the clip of I think the actor, his name is Henry Lennox, as the general for Man of Steel. So they had him like, you know. Oh yeah. It was like a storyboard though. It was like a drawing, and it just had him, you know, walking away from the office and just turning into Martian Manhunter mm-hmm. as he walked out the office. So. That might they might be able to do that, maybe if this guy, you know, it's just a quick cameo. I think that's possible to film, but I don't know about Green Lantern. They could have like Hal Jordan or whatever on there. That'd be too much. Yeah, They'd probably. Be... I think both Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter would would be too much. With yeah, what they already but... have. Yeah, but I think that's what Snyder might throw in a little hint there, like a little throwaway reference line or something. Unless oh, before they introduce Martian Manhunter, like Batman opens a folder in his computer and there's like a Ma- Martian Manhunter folder and yeah. he opens that and you find out that Martian Manhunter is that, that general guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, so, thank God I have this computer. Whoa. Wow. See, like... <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's the stuff that I, w- I would like to check out anyway. Like, I would like to see a live action Dark Side oh, just yeah. to see how to do it, you know? My expectations for this movie are low, but I'm still 100% going to watch this. I wanted, I want to watch this one, and I want to watch Dark Phoenix. Definitely. Yeah. And I'm an X-Men fan. I'm, a... I was like, I'm, not watching, I'm not watching Dark Phoenix. When it comes yeah. to superheroes, X-Men is my number one, and I still don't want to watch Dark Phoenix. <laughs> uh, what would you like to see in a Snyder Cut, Ernie? In the Snyder Cut? Yeah. Just I want to know what it's a, like. What it's what's the big deal? You know what I mean? Like I if it's gonna be I don't know. Like let's let it. I just want to see it. Like I want to see what's gonna be different from the original. Because the original just that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like it's just going to be <laughs> where you see like Dark Side like in one one or two scenes and that's it. And that's the only difference. We're, we're watching the same movie. It's just and I'm assuming if they want it to be like in theaters. They they're doing it for like you know people who who are gonna pay to see it, you know, and yeah, they're exactly. gonna see the same movie and see <laughs> and see like two <laughs> scenes, two like two scenes. That's the most I give it. I, I said one, but you said two. So the beginning and the end, and that's all. That's all we're gonna see. I think Young, tops like side. three major scenes. Yeah, but I think those scenes are gonna look. They're gonna be like they're gonna look beautiful. And it's gonna be like filled with mass shit that people are gonna go crazy. Like, oh my god, did you see? Look at all those cameos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Green Lantern fighting, flying through the sky at the end of the before the credits hit. Yo, purposely, <laughs> like, I watched like a whole bunch of YouTubers talking about this shit, and everybody's like, oh, there's gonna be Green Lantern showing up, Martian Manhunter, the Atom. People nah. were actually saying the Adam's gonna show up, but not as the Adam as like the Doctor, the Asian Adam. I forgot his name. Yeah, but I was like, but I saw that, that was like a cut scene. Like, that's oh, that was the actual scene. cut scene. Yeah, so that's yeah, what I'm Snyder's saying. Doing way like, too much. Yeah, it's gonna be like mad little cameos and Easter eggs that he wants to put in there. Like we're gonna see Star Labs. We're gonna see uh, Iris West uh, for for the you know Iris from uh, Flash. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, be, I remember that. Scene. Her scene, yeah, her scene's got cut. And they're gonna introduce Mer- Mera and <laughs> your girl um, Amber Heard is gonna be in it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> She's so abusive. Yeah. <laughs> And she's going to bring William Dafoe with her, too. So she probably smacked him around before she Oh, man. That, that's a good combination. Amber Heard at William Dafoe in the same room with me <laughs> in the middle. A me sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I always wanted. Yeah, be like that. It sounds like one of your dreams, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> with William Dafoe just looking like, yeah, punch him. <laughs> <laughs> It was beautiful. <laughs> what I want for this Snyder Cut 
is right at the end. I want the camera to like pan away from like Dark Side's back. Mm -hmm. Then he turns around, look at the camera, and goes, "That's it. This, this is it. <laughs> this is the end. Like, there's no more movies. Yeah. That's it. We're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna make a, a, a trilogy you guys want for this one. Yeah. <laughs> this <is it. laughs> he literally says, Ben Affleck's not even Batman anymore. <laughs> I don't even know about Henry Cavill. Bye. No, but <laughs> yo, yo, but on that though, AT and T because AT and T owns Warner Brothers is part of Warner Brothers now. So somebody asked, so what's gonna happen with um, Ben Affleck? He's gonna come. He's gonna come back into being Batman because you know they were talking about how his first Batman script was so amazing. That was like the best Batman script like they, they ever saw, but it never got made because Affleck bounced. And then the AT and T as a as a corporation replied in Twitter, like whenever we, we whatever whenever the single uh, gets put out, hopefully a hero answers the call and it's like Affleck's Batman with the the bat symbol. Oh my god! It. I was like, yeah. what about this guy, the Twilight dude? So that's what uh, that I I saw a video earlier. It was like uh, it seems like. Uh, <laughs> Pan, like Pattinson is not really into it, and they haven't really recorded that many scenes, and he's not working out. Yeah, so yeah it's yeah. like so. That's it's the like Batman I want, like the skinny, like I don't care, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> but, <laughs> and then with the old Snyder cut, that Ben Affleck might have to come back, and they might use him for for the Batman movie. Huh. So kind of Robert Pattinson out. Then I flick back in. That's what it seems like. But then it's like they also brought up a point: Are they gonna make him young, uh, young Ben Affleck? Like, are they gonna digitally digitalize his face to make him young? I prefer the grizzled Bruce Wayne that he's bit started with. Yeah. Well, they're probably gonna make him a little younger now. Like, they're probably gonna recon that. If that if this is if like the Snyder cut, it's like does this amazing these amazing numbers. Because, you know, Affleck lost his mad weight. Like, yeah. he's he's back in shape now. If you haven't seen oh. him lately. Oh, like, shit. He's, yeah, he's, like, in Batman shape again. Like, Batman oh, versus Superman shape. Even in quarantine? Because this is fucking drinking season, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he uh he quit. He quit drinking. And he's going out with uh this actress. I forgot her name. But she's like... Amber Heard? Huh? Amber Heard? Uh, <laughs> 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 She's being like, like he punches his stomach while he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to get in shape. While he's pulling the tire. <laughs> I never told you guys the reason I started running again was because Amber Heard is just chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, I'm tired of your punches. I'm just full of chocolate. <laughs> coming <laughs> we, want, <laughs> we want more marrow <laughs> oh man i hear she's gonna get fired from that role because of the yeah. whole controversy we'll see depends like how you think so you think more people are this subscribe to hbo max now since they're gonna have like this oh yeah movie? for the yeah. snyder cut absolutely right. that's why they had the snyder cut to get more people through but what's gonna happen? That's why it's episodic too, so they could keep their accounts. Oh, so it's episodic. Is that a full thing? Well, they they they're, they're debating on what to do with yeah. like the whole thing. Uh, you know, they're gonna make it episodic. Yeah, because suppose his like his his movie is like four hours long, like yeah. four hours plus. So, so oh my god! Yeah, they're so. gonna keep, make it episodic and do a behind the scenes thing. Oh, um, damn! They're really about to give us thirty minute episodes, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. keep the the subscribers, bro. I guarantee you that's gonna happen. Yeah, that is true. They're not just gonna release a a three hour movie and just call it a day. Yeah. Mm -mm. Especially. Nah. They, yeah, they're probably gonna because they have a special now. If you sign up before, it's like fourteen something. But once the shit the promotion is over, it's like twenty bucks a month for that. So if people are gonna be willing to pay that for one movie, I don't know. And like all these Snyder cut. People, I'm not saying I'm not saying the majority, but 
those YouTubers are gonna be making a video for every episode analyzing that shit. Oh my god. Yep. You know, you know, you know what's gonna happen. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna get no, it's gonna it's gonna come like, oh, we were we were doing this from the start, so all you other guys are posers and a lot yeah. of guys <laughs> a lot of shit's gonna a lot of those videos gonna come. You guys didn't think <laughs> the Snyder could existed. It's here, it's here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh that's why I just I just want to see it just to get get the shit over with. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not but sure you know, which one I'm gonna like better, the Snyder cut or the Whedon cut. I'm kind of meh about the Whedon Whedon cut. I do I not really like not. the Whedon cut. No, nah, I'm kind of. It had its moments, but mostly it was just like eh. it had its moments for sure, but not enough to to move my my verdict. Mm. We'll see. What are you hoping for the Snyder Cut, Elmer? I don't know. More stuff. See, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Supposedly, they're going to go with the original design that Snyder had for his look. So it's not going to look like the one in Justice League. So they're so going to spend gonna... money on, on a whole CG character? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the whole $20 million. <laughs> <laughs> Just the face. Yeah. Wow. Because you know they're gonna have they're gonna have to make it better than it was in a yeah. in a Whedon, because the, the the special effects now was just look mad cheap. It's like a PS2 character. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was pretty bad. So I know he's gonna do a better job with that. Like Snyder has like the eye for that kind of thing. Like, so we'll we'll see where he takes it. <clears throat> like, I want to see like more ba- of oh, Batfleck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to see Batman doing more Batman shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So supposedly that the the scene of, the first scene of Batman in Justice League when he has like chasing the burglar and then the the parademon comes, that was a weeding shot weeding shot. So that wasn't part of Snyder's script at all. So oh. that's gonna get tossed. That's gonna be a whole different introduction, I think, with him. That's interesting. Be, I didn't like that shot. Which hopefully will be pretty ki- badass because you know Snyder has his moments that he could really you know do action very well. That's true. So I mean. Especially the- Batman v Superman, the the Batman scene in the warehouse, classic one of the, one of the best Batman. Probably scenes the out. best Batman fight scene in a movie ever. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like you were playing the Arkham game. Yeah. So, so I'm excited to see that. Like that's what I'm looking forward to. Like all the cool stuff that wasn't shown. That he all the hype they you know has been talking about all these months. Let's see if he can back it up now. Yeah. That's what I want to see. And I know this is a long shot, but if he wants to sway my opinion, change Aquaman. (laughs) Too late, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Momo has been a supporter from the jump, yo. Yeah, he has. (laughs) He was supporting. And Aquaman wasn't bad. I fell asleep, but it wasn't bad. (laughs) It was entertaining. China, uh, the Asian countries loved it. That's why it made like a billion dollars. That's true. Mostly because there weren't any homosexuals in it. <laughs> that too, probably. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you hear about that shit? They're saying like one, one of the reasons Star Wars did bad in China was because of the the girl kiss. Yeah, but they, I heard that it's, they still edited it out though. Oh, they edited that out in, in the Chinese version. Yeah. Oh, okay. come on, man, Disney. <laughs> I thought I heard somebody say like that. That was a reason, like, why well, Star Wars sucked. Nah. <clears throat> that was Disney's smart with shit like that. They always yeah. bow down to the. Yeah, it's true. Chinese. Like, all right, we'll cut it. That's why I was so like short. There's a celebration and kiss at the end of the movie, like quick <laughs> celebration. It's just scene. a quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, like, snip, cut out. <laughs> Get it out of here. They said we're gay really fast. We're gay. Yeah. <laughs> the, the tap kiss but I feel it's like you know the streaming services they're desperate for content because this shit was never yeah. a possibility if this if COVID hasn't happened I don't think this is this will be happening right now because they're like HBO Max is like yo a lot of people are home they're gonna want something to watch what makes it more you know to subscribe to the service even though the movie's coming out in 2021 People are still gonna jump on it. Just, the hardcore you know, fans are gonna subscribe now. Yeah, just to show their appreciation to HBO Max or yep. whatever. So 
Should they're wearing their sleeveless Snyder Cut shirts, and they're <laughs> like, I'm going to subscribe now, because if I don't, I'm a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and, the mark- and by the way, that marked the scene was a classic moment in film for all time. <laughs> yeah. It was so deep. You don't understand it because you don't understand how deep it is. It's because, you know? like, two people from different worlds... Like their mothers have the same name. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, that never happens. Nothing more bonding Show, than that. Showing you how small the world it is. Yeah. You sure. get it. Sure. I met this guy the other day whose mom had the same name as my mom, and I kissed him in yeah. the mouth. <laughs> We're brothers in spirit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, your mom is my mom's name? Yeah. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I talk in public. (laughs) Oh man, that moment, Martha, will go down to infamy. Yeah, like you know, like in some movies where like you hear a line at the movie theater and you don't think much about it, but then when you watch it again, you're like, "What the fuck?" Yo, day one with Batman vs. Superman, when I heard that line, I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yo. I never I realized it. they had the same name, but still no. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that's one of the things that you kind of, you know, but you kind of forget about it. So, like, somebody mentions it, like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's weird. Yeah. They're both named Martha. If I was Batman and I had that resolve to kill the alien in my country and we had the same name, <laughs> A mom with the same name. I still want to kill you. <laughs> That's interesting, but okay. Clank. Yeah. <laughs> Crit tonight. Still die. Yeah. Still die. Yeah. And then Doomsday kills everybody. Because <laughs> <laughs> Batman's not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, he's just running around shooting pellets. <laughs> and battery. <laughs> he threw one battering and noticed, like, okay, that's not working. That's why I started using the pellet thing. <laughs> pellet <laughs> gun. And Nerf gun. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, red and orange. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, makes no sense. Lucky Wonder Woman was there. It's true. Oh, yeah. And the funny thing is, like, Batman asked, like, is, he, is she with you? And he was like, oh, oh, I don't know, is she with you? They both know she wasn't with any of them. <laughs> they know what the deal was. Come on. Well, but I mean, Batman had to know who it was, right? Like, oh, but he kind of didn't know her. She so just had a tiara yeah. on. So they, they yeah. could recognize her face. Like, oh, you're the lady from the the thing with the weird Lex Luthor guy who acts like the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Riddler. The Riddler, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he would have been all right, uh, all right Riddler. He would have been a good Riddler, actually. You don't think so? Yeah. I hate Jesse Eisenberg. That's why he fan. acts so smart. Ugh, no. <laughs> Yo, after the Social Network, I just, I just have this hatred for that dude because like, he played it so well, Mark Zuckerberg. So I was like, every time I see him, I'm like, oh, look at this dickhead. I think I beat him up. <laughs> he missed, what is it? He did, a, he did that movie, um, uh, Now You See Me. Oh, yeah. So, like, he messed up a trick. Like, he showed the trick wrong and, like, in uh, in The Tonight Show. And it's just like, ugh, you sh- I don't know. It should, that should piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they <laughs> That's not what did it for me. It was the Lex Luthor that did it for me. But like, um, and they like go the shit that he talked about, you know, uh, comic book, you know, fans and and you know, he he didn't care for it. Yeah, but like he just did a, a trick and like he messed it up and like it just showed everybody how to do the trick. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> God damn it, man, dumbass. Yeah, if I was the least... audience, I would have gone on stage and punched him. At least play it to the camera so the camera doesn't see. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. He played it to the guy and whoever it was Jimmy, one of the Jimmys. 
Kim Moore fan. Uh, Jimmy Schmidt's his talk show. <laughs> I try Schmidt. to I try to rate him because of uh, Zombie Land. That's only yeah, I that's my favorite Jesse Eisenberg movie. Yeah, I was like, you know, you were great in Zombie Land, so. Yeah, and it wasn't really him; it was more Bill Murray. <laughs> or Woody Harrelson. Oh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. That's true. He was or great that that girl. What's her name? The super hot Emma, one. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Yeah, she's pretty hot in that movie. Yeah. I think she's hotter brunette than anything. Nah, I like redhead Emma Stone. Of course. <laughs> I thought you would have gone with blonde, but okay. I I thought that too, but when I saw her in Spider Man, I was like, nah, red. Red. Redhead, yeah. I'll go with the Phoenix Emma Stone. So super bad. <laughs> super bad Emma Stone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Super bad Emma Stone. Gotcha. Yeah. So I guess mine is Zombieland Emma Stone. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. much the same thing as Super Bad Emma Stone, isn't it? No, I think her hair was darker. I think it was like darker brown. Your, uh, yeah. Super yeah. Bad, it was like dark red, but it was like still reddish. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember she was really hot in uh, Zombie Land. La La Land, Emma Stone. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen La La Land. <laughs> Me neither. Wait, uh, musicals, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not big on musicals. I love musicals, but I just I have no interest in watching Emma Stone and Ryan. When it comes to musicals, I don't like getting like super high and watching Jesus Christ Superstar naked. (laughs) That's it. (laughs) In the dark, and just doing this. (laughs) (laughs) Feel the music around you. Oh, yes. (laughs) It's here. (laughs) Give me that bass. (laughs) Ah. <laughs> Yo, but it's like the, the only thing I don't like about this is like they're making it seem like for the people that were extreme with the Snyder cut, yeah, that if you just be like non stop and be like annoying as hell, you oh. know, the movie that you want to see is gonna come out, you yeah. get your thing, yeah, <laughs> then it's gonna now they want to see like the director's cut of Suicide Squad. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> and, only re- us. and the only reason why that might actually happen because there's gonna be more Joker in it, and you know how Joker is like their money maker or whatever. So, but not the, the Joker. right Joker. <laughs> nah, man, Joker stands are as loyal as Venom stands. I think man. that's true. They just, they just support whatever they, that shit's in. <laughs> like, yeah. that's true. But the, the same as don't lie. Same as Batman fans, Spider Man fans. Oh yeah, yeah. It's all toxic, bro. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, all of it. Yeah. Yo, Spider Man Twitter is like one of the worst places I ever seen in my life, and I'm a spider. I'm a huge Spider Man fan, and I'm like, yo, oh man, I hate you all. I hate most of you guys on here. I never mm-hmm. visit Wolverine Twitter. All oh. those guys must be fucking annoying, constantly smoking <laughs> cigarettes and being, <laughs> being just salty with each other. <laughs> Like the dudes, the dudes in the forty in their forties, gonna be like, "Yo, why you gotta have a gay son or whatever?" That's just mad PC. Why is this so bisexual? <laughs> he's not gay. Yeah. He's bisexual. That's the best he's I bi- can come up with. <laughs> that's a that's the closest thing I could come up with that I'm ex- acceptable to. That like, what's the, like what's a Dakin? That's like some fucking SJW type of fucking language. <laughs> no, no, no. He's not gay. He's bisexual. He's bisexual. <laughs> Dabble in these things, <laughs> but yeah, like I, I don't know, I, I, don't, oh. I like that. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I want to read X Factor. I just no, I just want to join Wolverine Twitter to see how it is. Oh my see god, how yeah, I want to okay, see. Yeah, you know, that shit must be a mess. Because uh. <laughs> if like if Spider Man is that like that toxic, I'm like, damn. A girl Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my Wolverine. Not, oh, I can't imagine you. Know. There's an issue too where he comes out and tells her like that she's the best Wolverine. I'm sure people got so pissed. Yeah. Oh well, that that Wolverine forum got so pissed. Oh yeah, yeah, that was like during all. Uh, that was like X Men and Hickam's Hickman's run, right? That was that before Hickman's run, where um, where she was like the main Wolverine. She yeah. was like knocked out during a fight or something, and she had like a. 
a sequence where she was like talking to Wolverine's soul because he was like dead at the time. And okay. he tells her like, oh, you're the best Wolverine there is. <laughs> so they probably lost their shit off of that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. But that's the thing. like, it, That's like a legacy thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it happens in comics all the time. Mm-hmm. It's all yeah, dependent on the writer. That's all what they, what happened kind of with the Flash when Barry Allen died and Wally West was like the new Flash all of a sudden. Yeah, a lot of people like Wally West better. Oh, yeah. but you know it's because she's a woman, and she can't possibly want... a woman can't possibly be better than a man at something that involved like fighting. Yeah, you know, she she has claws coming out of her arms and legs. <laughs> and <laughs> and legs. Mm-hmm. You know, like she's pretty. You know. Does she have, um, she has the healing factor, but she doesn't have the bones, right? She she only has the adamantium on the on the claws, not her claws. her body. Okay. But imagine fighting somebody like Wolverine, and suddenly like she kicks you, and a claw comes out of her fucking foot. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <She's... laughs> it's like you got you have more options now. Yeah. Wolverine just has both arms now. You have your arms and your legs. Hey, come on. Probably had to cut somebody's head off by now in the comics with her feet. Yeah, I can imagine that'd be so dope. Yeah, that had to be a scene already. When she was in X Force, it was sick. Like, she was like decapitating and just ripping people apart. There was a scene where like she lost her arm, and she found it and she like just held it up onto herself and like it healed and like she was good. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Damn. That's what's up. Yeah. Was- yeah, people with, like the healing factor in the Marvel universe, like they could lose limbs and just like hold it onto themselves and it'll heal. Yeah. That's a new thing though, right? Because I don't yeah. Wolverine. I don't think Wolverine ever did that back in the day. Nah, he's had like his whole since he has adamantium, he just had like his whole like arm blown off and like yeah. just left with the bone and like the skin would just like grow over it and like yeah. go back to normal. Shit. But didn't like Hulk rip him in half? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. And like the upper half walked to the his legs and healed. Oh okay. No. okay. Okay. And in the most current X Force, he was cut in half, and like the upper half of his body was still fighting people. We <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> had to bring him back from the dead anyway, right? Nah. Forge brought him his lower half, and like he grabbed his. Oh, Forge that's was, right. Like, yeah, using a giant right. robot thing. Yeah. So he grabbed Wolverine's upper half and his lower <laughs> half and just put them together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy ass scene. That was a dope scene. Dope. Kid Omega got his head cut off while Wolverine yeah. got like cut in half. So he definitely had to be brought back to life. Yeah. And somebody got blown up, right? Uh Domino. Was it Domino or no? Or was no, it... Domino survived. I I think the only one who died was Kid Omega. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. It's wild. He came out, like, through the portal, like, head first, and, like, right there, like, when his neck was going through, it, it got cut off. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I did a little quicker than that. I love that, that new thing with X-Men, though, like, bringing people back, like, nothing. Yeah. It, like, adds more to the story somehow, even though, like, people are, like, dying and coming back. Gives... Yeah, you could do a lot more like wild shit. Yeah. Because even like when reading House of X and Power of X, when like the miniseries, when they all died in that one min- mission, you're like, yo, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what's going on here? <laughs> like, they all just died. That's one of my favorite scenes ever. Yo, did you hear about that? Uh, Hickman and uh, Tom Taylor, they. Uh, there's this poll, like I don't know if you know about the poll, Jean Grey fighting whoever they put up, like Marvel other Marvel characters. Oh, uh, I heard like the latest one is her against Thor. Yeah. So uh, they ask Hickman, like, "Oh, you think she'll be able to beat Thor?" And she's like, "He's like, nah, she's not worthy. She killed like six million people, uh, like six billion people when she was the Dark Phoenix." Yeah. And like Tom Taylor was like, "Yo, she doesn't even have to show you her worth or whatever or some shit like that." He says, so "I'm like, oh, like." But her with Phoenix Force, I think, would would destroy Thor. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not sure if she has her Phoenix powers in this. Oh, yeah. I think that would be cheating if she has her Phoenix powers. Yeah. 
you know. We'll see what the outcome of the battle is. Even though Odin, when he was young and had the hammer, he was banging yeah. what, the phoenix at that time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember you guys talking about that. Uh, he's like, oh, she's thing. so hot. Literally. <laughs> but it's crazy, like, like but it's, it's crazy that like, Hickman's going, like, after Phoenix like that, just because he knows, like, the Phoenix, the Jean Grey fans are, are hating, like, her, how she's being used in the storyline so far. Really? So, yeah, they they hated the fact that she, she was wearing the Marvel Girl costume for so long. And then uh, how like she's completely... How she was completely different than she was in X Men Red, which was a great series. Yeah, like, I loved X Men Red, and Tom Taylor wrote that, you know. So like, she's a totally different person here. I don't know if it's part of Hickman's long game because you know they brought I, back I, that he... costume though after the the second giant size or the oh, first yeah? giant size. I think like she has a a green and yellow version of of mm. that costume now, the X Men Red version. Nice. I think yeah, it's but, way cooler than the Marvel Girl costume. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. plus, I love the X Men Red costume. Yeah, that was, a, that was like the best Jean Grey costume. I the think. Marvel Girl costume has like no tactical advantage at all. <laughs> like she's just in a skirt and a party yeah. dress. It's probably why Wolverine killed her so fast in the first issue of the Wolverine comic book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you're not the real Jean. <sighs> oh, Madeline Pryor's back. Yeah, I saw that. They cloned her. I don't know if it's a clone. I don't know. If it's... I think Mister Sinister might have cloned her. Cloned her again. You know how they are with like the resurrection shit. Yeah. They bring back every mutant. Fun. Let's see what they do with that. Because Sinister still hasn't done his big betrayal yet. I think, right? No, not yet. Yeah, there's like a huge betrayal coming from Mister Sinister. I got prepared for that. And the the um X of Swords storyline is yeah. written by Jonathan Hickman. Yeah. I didn't know that until like recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, X of Swords, what kind of fucking story is this? But I saw it written by Jonathan Hickman. I was like, oh shit. I gotta yeah, read it's this. Part of, it's part of the plan. It's about uh it deals with Apocalypse's original four horsemen. Yeah. So I'm so hyped for that, man. That shit looks sick. Yeah. Yeah, we got comics back too. Finally, they started in July, right? Yeah, I, I think DC's already DC's been since. Oh, last DC's week. always been been releasing, I think. Yeah, so that's great. Marvel, yeah, Marvel starts like back in July. Some shit like that. Though. Okay, good. Yeah, I can't wait for my comics, man. I'm dying. You're reading Ninja Turtles, right, Ernie? Yeah, the old school one, though. You finished? No, yeah, I'm like uh, one issue away. This is just like uh, timing. I think there's times where like I'm working or whatever, and then yeah, when I get the time off, I'll like, get on it. But it's cool. It's, it's like the original story is pretty dope. Nice, nice. And like uh, I don't know, it's very like um, it's very like old school, like Jack Kirby type style and shit. Like you know what I mean, like uh. I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of like they definitely talk about it a lot. And because in between issues, they talk uh, like what they, you know, what they wanted to do with the issue or whatever. Yeah. So it was like, uh, like, I thought it was pretty cool how like the way they did it, like they drew at the same time. So like one person is drawing and they'll give each other the page and then switch pages and continue drawing. So it all looks like one, one artist doing the whole thing. So that's pretty dope. And like, uh, I don't know. It's pretty short. It's pretty short, but it's like um, it, it, it's so many things that like I don't know. I can't explain it because like you have you know I, I take for instance um, the I was telling you guys before. I think I said this uh, in the, on the podcast before. In the original Ninja Turtles, uh, the uh, second one, the Secret of the Ooze. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, there was a doctor and like the, that doctor of TGRI. And all this bunch of stuff. At the end of the movie, he um he grabs the the the, the last canister of ooze, and then you don't see him again. So like the original plan, the original script was that uh he that you see him in a lab, and then you see him turn like open up his coat and he you see a crane, like a like in his uh, stomach. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So it was like, um, that's what happened in the comic book. It's like, um, freaking some shit happens with like the, with the mousers. So the mousers get to, to Splinter. So Splinter like, you know, fights them off and he goes into like, he gets lost in the sewers and ends up in T TCRI, which is the, the building that like, I guess makes the ooze or whatever. And uh, then it was like, they freaking, the Ninja Turtles come in there and they get fucking teleported to some other planet. And that's when they see the Triceratons and and um, there's the, what is it, Fugitoid? I don't know if you guys remember him from the original uh, cartoon, but it's like this like alien that like is a fugitive. It's uh, this little like alien robot that's a fugitive. It's, it's crazy shit. Like, <laughs> like a Harrison Ford robot? No, it's like, a, it, he looks like a, like Bender type robot yeah. like that kind of you know like just generic ass robot but that's like shiny uh, metal ass <laughs> but he's the he he's uh it's it's he, it's a scientist's mind inside a robot's body uh, the fate of every scientist <laughs> and it's cool like the guys like they freaking uh the new turtles like drink beer and shit like that like they go to like uh in that planet they go to like a bar and they're like I think I, I'm assuming it's Raph. He takes like a, a chug of like this weird alien liquor drink, and like he like his head almost explodes, <laughs> and they like shot people and shit. It's freaking crazy. Fun fact: in in Marvel, the only beer that could get Wolverine drunk is Asgardian beer. <laughs> wow! He got so fact. drunk with Asgardian beer at some point, like he made his claws pop out of his hands, like from here. Because he's like, oh, drunk, and he's like, Psh! and everybody like next to him were like freaking out. Damn, that's crazy. Like, that's don't candid. worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get something to drink. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> does the bird walk? <laughs> walk. Yo, so that the fucking dark side of the ring, bro. Just yeah, man, crazy. Is the season finale? Yeah, yo, I forgot. Like, Golden Heart was like supposed to be that dude. Like, he was supposed to be like the next one up, right? Pretty yeah. Much. The thing was, uh, this different stories because, like, um, of course, you know, once once I watch, once everyone watches it, like, there's so many like videos about it. Yeah. yeah. There's, you know, I remember there was a there was two incidences where um they were gonna make him like the world champion. And it was at the beginning when he first came out because uh, it was like him and Brett and, you know, whatever. He, Brett was going to pass it to him or whatever. But, uh, or lose it to, 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 to Owen. But then something happened. I don't know what. Things got changed. And then uh, then there was another part where, like, uh, this is the part of the way I, I heard about it, that I was recently listening to. It was like he was supposed to have a feud with Shawn Michaels and eventually win the title. But then supposedly Shawn didn't want to, like, Dropped the title to him, and 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 then uh, and then when you, with Sean's like uh, Sean Michaels' uh, point of view, he's like Vince McMahon didn't see Owen Hart as like a main eventist, so he just wanted to um, use. That's why it was like him and Triple H because Triple H was they were trying to get Triple H over. So it, you know, on the on their side, it, or from like Owen Hart's side, or you know, like they they're trying to keep him down. You know, they're trying to like yeah. keep him at a level. But this episode, right? It's all on his family's perspective. So, if you, like, if you watch all the little like, home videos, everything is like, oh, I, you know, I wish, you know, to do this with my family and take care of my family. You know, like all this bunch of stuff, like that he didn't care about wrestling. Like, what he cared about is his family. You know? Yeah. And and I get that, but at the same time, like, there's a wrestling. He was still a wrestler, so like, he was still a side of him that was like, hey, I love doing this. And when you hear the the you know like wrestlers stories about him he's like a fun loving guy like super prankster like just funny guy like everyone loved him yeah so it, so it's like it's a thing where it's kind of like i get what they're getting at but and like at the end of the story like his wife um doesn't want to like let them use his name or his image or anything like that and a part of me like understands it now before i was like oh this is fucked up because the only side I saw, I never heard her side of the story, but from the other side is like, you know, like Bret Hart is even like against her because he's like, now WWE doesn't show anything about Owen Hart. So you erased his whole career. So everything he did this for, everything that he did, like it's gone. 
like now no one really it's not praised or celebrated because because of her and you know but at the same time it is WWE's fault you know like <laughs> they, yeah, they wanted yeah. to they want to use a cheaper you know cord and a wire or whatever it is yeah and uh they wanted so they wanted to save money and you know as much shit and and i don't know it's just i don't know it's like i said it's just two two sides of the story yeah. and this uh, this time we got to see like finally her side which was like something i appreciated yeah and I it was sad it was sad to watch of course because it, it showed like he was a family man so you know that part wasn't bullshit you know what i mean so like for him to go out like that too for some shit that he wasn't really into because it was like a stupid gimmick or whatever too but i don't know freddie do you know what we're talking about owen hart yeah it's like uh that show the dark side of the ring yeah Yeah. i haven't seen any episode oh okay well like is this on netflix on vice vice okay uh, yeah. I'll find a way to watch it. I always do. <laughs> they they usually have it on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get like full episodes. Oh, on I really one. want to watch this. This sounds fucking awesome. Nah, yeah. They had like mad great episodes of uh, wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Even shit like I never heard of before, like in the 70s or whatever. Like, like oh shit. Crazy shit too. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting. Like, I would have never thought about it, but I've, I'm super into watching like wrestling videos on YouTube. Like yeah. history of like certain wrestlers and shit. Yeah. I'm super. I've been super obsessed with that lately. So, <laughs> you know what it is too? Yeah, it's just crazy because there's so many shows that I'm backed up on that I'm, I like. I need to. I haven't watched, but I'm like every time I get a chance to watch TV, I'm always watching Dark Side of the Ring. So, like, <laughs> oh, I gotta watch that, man. Yeah, all the episodes I haven't seen yet, I'm like, I'm watching it because there's like a couple episodes from this season I haven't watched yet, so I forgot yeah. to check that out. Yeah, like Thank wrestlers you. are fucking bananas lives. You know? They're oh, fucking hell. crazy. Mm-hmm. Like this, this one in particular, Freddie is um. So this, this is this you know Bret Hart, right? Mm-hmm. So his his brother is Bre- Owen Hart, and it was like a. So the thing was when the whole Montreal screw job thing when it was like um, when Bret Hart was leaving to WCW and and they um, screwed him off the you know to like to lose the match and all this shit. we talked about this before. So after that, like I, it like the the locker room was kind of split. So they were like, yo, this is fucked up that they would do such a thing. You know, Vince McMahon and the company would do such a thing to someone who was like, so whatever, right? To to Brett, right? But Owen stayed because Owen's like, yo, I, this is this is how I make my money and I have a family and I have to take care of them and shit like that. Yeah. And then on top of that, um, Vince McMahon like freaking uh, gave him like a, a, a better contract to be like, you know, hey, you're going to be the top guy eventually. So at this point, at this point in like 19, I think it was 1999, right? Or something. Yeah. So like, nine, so like 99, he's, Owen Hart is kind of like in, uh, you know, they, they have that whole attitude era. So everything is all tits and ass and all this kind of shit. Mm-hmm. And he's not into that. Like there was a thing that they wanted him to be having an affair with this one, with this one uh, female ballet girl. And he was like, I don't want to do that. I have a family, blah, blah, blah. Right. So they they gave him and I don't know if this is punishment or whatever, but they gave him his old his old gimmick when he first came through in like the eighties. It was like the superhero gimmick called the blue blazer. So he comes in with like a blue mask and like a cape and whatever, right? So they brought him back, but the joke on it was that like he like he's not saying that he's Owen Hart. Like, you know what I mean? Like we all know he's Owen Hart, but he's like, No, I'm not Owen Hart. I don't even know who Owen Hart is, right? So <laughs> So um, the so they had two stunts. The first stunt was like he comes down from the rafters, but he got stuck. So like then the guy just beat him up, where he was like stuck on the like the thing, so he couldn't get out. See, but that was the that was like a funny little thing, right? Yeah. But so what ends up happening is that in this one pay per view, they like oh we're gonna do this again, but this time you're gonna go you're gonna get into the ring, you know you're gonna land on the ring. And um, they something happened where they basically were like um, the, wi- the the wires we use the wires and whatever straps and all this bunch of shit that they in the clip that they used the last time was very clunky and it looked weird. This time we want you to like just fucking go down and just kind of like once you land, like it comes off like right away. So like you look like you're ready to fight, you know. So 
when they uh so they're doing this whole thing and like once I, i'm assuming once he like let go here that thing already snapped off the clip yeah. i'm assuming and he just falls on the ring Holy fuck. and like and dies <laughs> so like yeah and like in the middle of a pay-per-view so everybody was just like what the hell and i remember it was me my brother and Berto. Mm-hmm. we were just Holy chilling fuck. and we were talking we were talking and then like this whole thing happened we're like wait, wait, did you see something well, i didn't see anything did you see something yeah and so Holy fuck for a long time we didn't even know we're like we thought there was like footage that we didn't get to see but yeah. like they never showed it because nah. it was it wasn't even on camera when it happened like, yeah nah it was like before mm-hmm. that was a crazy because i guess it, it he was about to make his entrance or whatever yeah would have cut to it mm-hmm. I, I i was watching i i I saw the same thing. I was watching this, the pay per view too at the same time, and I was just yeah. like, when I saw the device episode, mm-hmm. I remember, well, there was like one scene was like they had like a uh, Jim, uh, uh, Jim Ross, Jim Ross, yeah, talking, yeah, and like the dude, the Mexican dude comes from behind from the audience, and he's like, nah, man, you're hey, right, yeah. Like that, I remember seeing that live, and I'm like, yo, that dude's dead. Like somebody died. Yeah, and holy like, fucking shit. <laughs> Because he yeah. fell like eighty feet, like straight down. Whoa. Yo, that, yeah. that there was still blood stains on the mat. Yeah, and they couldn't get out. Yo, they, so they they kept on with the pay per view. Yeah, they kept on. The show must go on. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's when I was like, so yeah, like Vince McMahon is a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. This whole season, we were talking about it. This whole season is like Vince McMahon is evil as fuck. <laughs> yeah. And then on top of that is Chris Jericho, who's in AEW. He's the one like yeah. narrating it and yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. you know, I'm assuming promoting it. Yeah, so it's very like anti WWE this whole season, especially this whole season. But it's not. It's not like wow. it, they don't deserve it though. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. So much shit that I'm like, yo, I, 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 I don't know, man. It's it's when you see, you know, it's it's like uh, like people who. I don't know when you see that you're like your hero is a monster and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of feel like, oh man, damn! This whole time I was cheating. Like with with uh, when it comes to Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart, right? Yeah. So I'm a huge Shawn Michaels fan, mm-hmm. and I was a big Bret Hart fan. But like when that whole Montreal screw job, I was very like being you know uh, obnoxious teenager, being like, oh Bret, fuck Bret, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And and now yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, the, the, now I see this like, yo, this whole time I was cheating for the fucking, the, the enemy, the bad guy. That Shawn Michaels was purely evil, too. You know, this whole time. And But, you know, it was back then, he, he was on drugs. He was fucking, you know, doing a bunch of shit. So he was just an asshole, you know? Like so it's like this. Throwing people over? Yeah, exactly. So, like, uh, you know, there's all these stories. You know, like him fucking uh, with a uh, member Vader. Yeah, yeah. So, so Vader, the thing is, Vader comes from that old school style where, like, when he was hitting you, he was hitting you for real. He was hitting you stiff. And um, and then in WCW, that's what made him so freaking uh, like scary because he was like Sting. He couldn't. He he beat Sting. And like in my head, I was like, you know, as a kid, it's like it's like seeing Hulk Hogan lose. You know, so he's yeah. just like, oh my god, this guy, like, you can't, you can't beat him. You know, he's yeah. crazy. He's a monster. And um, he goes to WWE, and then Shawn Michaels already was like, yo, don't ever fucking be stiff with me, or I'll, I'll fucking, I'll get you fired, like that. You know? And and that killed his career. So wow. it was like, just stuff like that, you know, that just kind of, then there's uh, this guy, uh, Sean Pierre Lafitte, who was this uh, this guy from Montreal, from um, from Canada. So he had this, like, they were trying to give him a push, and it was him versus Kevin Nash, or, or Diesel at the time. Mm-hmm. And it was like, he's like, hey, we're going to be in Montreal. Like, they love me in Montreal. Maybe we could work this finish where, like, I beat you or whatever. And, like, whatever, this, this, and that. But then Shawn Michaels was like, was like, yo, fuck that guy. Like, you're the champion. Like, you you need to win. And this, is that. Who, fuck, you know, we're going to go back to the States and they're going to cheer you. And not fuck about him, you know? So uh, something happened where, like, they had to, like, politic their way out of the finish and you know so it's always been shit there's a lot of like stories of like just these guys kind of like putting people lowballing people and like bring putting them down so they could stay up and shit so it becomes a thing where it's like damn man like i was cheering for like the bad guys like the the you know the villains i thought it was i thought it was being you know whatever like just 
you know, I don't know, cheering for who I liked or who was my favorite, but I was like, my favorite were the, were the actual villains. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, you know? Yeah, and yeah. Brett, Brett has always been just like a good guy that just kind of just fucking got fucked over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you always like the Sith, though, when it comes to Star oh. Wars. So you're always a bad guy type of guy. Yeah, but that was like I'm saying, like, that's my teenage, you know, angst, you know, being like, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. yeah. <laughs> it's, still, it's still inside of you, Ernie. You got to exercise that out of your body. That's not true. I'm a Sith boy. <laughs> except the Jedi's. I do accept the Jedi's. Oh, okay. Except, except Ray. He's like, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> Wait, the Ray type of Jedi? No, you got to be rigid and like not have sex and. <laughs> All the shit that led to the downfall. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like little braids on the side of your head. No, I'm good. <laughs> the one side on this side. I'm going a, I'm to a grow a braid on one side for quarantine. <laughs> I'm going to get stuck under a vending machine. <laughs> oh, man. Well, not to be the bearer of bad news, bad news but another wrestler died, right? Yeah. Shad Gaspard. So oh, I Gat- heard about that one. Yeah, so the thing is, the, this, this like, uh, was, like, you know, like touched my heart in a bit. You know what I mean? Like it, 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 it's, it's, it hit close to home because that's I, I, me and my brother had an accident where we almost drowned and in the beach because the same thing happened. It was uh, the current, the current took us. Or it took me first, and then my brother went to save me, and like we basically switched. So like we're now we're both drowning. You know what I mean? Shit. And lifeguards came in, and my brother said the same exact thing. Well, not the same exact thing, but he goes, "Save my brother." So, like, they saved me first, and then they got him. So, what happened was, uh, they went him, Shad Gaspard, and his ten-year-old son. They went out to swim, and he did he the same thing. They both got caught on the current. He basically was like, "Save my son first. So they saved his son, ten year old son, and he got caught under and then was missing for like three days. Holy fuck! So they finally, finally found his body on the like the shore, on the Venice Beach shore, and um, you know he was, he was drowned. So wow, yeah, and that came just out of nowhere because they just opened up the the beaches over there, and it was like a thing where they were just family you know like just having a family yeah, day at the beach and yeah so and there was like lifeguards and fucking uh you know like uh first responders and stuff you know trying to look for his body and they couldn't find it if, until finally it, it like just came off came up on shore oh my god so That's um horrible. Mm-hmm. And uh, you mentioned earlier, he was the. You guys mentioned God of War earlier. Mm-hmm. He was the the. I think he was the the, the model for the body of uh, Kratos in that movie in that game, the one with the beard, right? Yeah. And the ball head and the scar. And that yeah. Yeah, yeah, the newest one. Yeah. Four. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he wow, was like in know. yeah, he was like in Birds of Prey. He was like uh, wow. some other movies. I forgot what else. But he's like an extra and stuff, but he's, yeah. he's a big giant. Fucking muscular dude. So <laughs> that's the type so of work gonna get, right? Mm-hmm. Damn, yeah, that man. Sucks, man. I wish I could have taught him my my swimming technique, where you let loose of all the oxygen from your lungs and sink to the bottom of the ocean and just walk to where you want to go. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it won't work. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a scary shit though. Drowning. Yeah, that's shit. that's one of the least ways I want to go. Drowning mm-hmm. and burning alive. <laughs> <laughs> and you getting eaten alive. Being eaten by crows. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> Zombie. Wasn't there like a Tales from the Crypt episode, like that some guy like he he escaped from jail. And then like, he was walking like towards like towards a cliff, and like he just stumbled down. He broke his neck. <gasps> oh, I remember that one. That yeah, wouldn't scare the shit him. out of me when I was yeah. a kid. What like, happened? The vultures <gasps> ate him. Yeah, oh my god! Was, he was paralyzed. Yeah, so he, he was still alive. Yeah, he was still oh. alive, but his neck was like all broken. Like he couldn't yeah. move shit. Damn. He just had to like sit there and let and while the vultures eat him. Oh my god! Live. Ugh. 
Uh, that was a freaky one. Yeah, that's a fun. really bad way to go. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty scary. My number way, to, my number one way to go is like just have a bunch of dynamite strapped all over my body, and blow up because it's like immediate. <laughs> like you don't feel shit. Okay. I mean, I don't know about the people around me, but like I'm in the center. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be panicking because you know what's coming? I mean, if um, I want it, I'll be like, yo, let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to blow up. <laughs> but if I'm not expecting, I'll be like, why is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> why is all this dynamite strapped all over my body? Who did this? <laughs> By this time, I'm going to go out. <laughs> Loved ones, run away. <laughs> Just run. Oh, no, I'll run earlier here with me. <laughs> Yo, but that's the thing. Dude. I almost drowned too in um that fucking long, the beach in Long Island, Jones Beach. Yeah, same oh, beach. Shit. Yeah, oh yeah, same beach. Yeah, same beach. But it was because me, I was there with Kelvin and these guys, and we were just drunk and fucking stoned out of our minds. Oh, I heard about this shit. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, we got caught out there, and like I can't swim, so I'm like, they that shit caught me like towards the deep end. I think Kelvin was the only one that could swim. Oh, and then like, he got me. They had to go get Gio or Danny and one of those guys. And one of those guys. Oh, God. And I was just, like mad scared because I was like, yo, I, <laughs> once he got me out the current, I just went, ran back to the, to the shore and I was like, yo, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> like, he got like, but like he was getting tired. So he was fucking get, getting caught up with the shit too. And it was like, it was like a crazy ex. And we're all drunk. So we were like, yo, we, nobody could do anything really. Damn. So that was, yeah, I understand, bro. Like to, nah. Yeah. Man. Bro, because you go into that vast fucking ocean. Panic right? mode. Yeah, you get panic. Yeah. Like once I start feeling like I can't feel my feet under, like I can't feel the thing under my feet, I, I start panicking. Yeah, man, I'm good. I don't the closest go I ever came to drowning was like I was in DR one day and I was in my uncle's pool, our uncle Rudy. Yeah. And he had the, the pool has like a 10 the foot deep. or like a really deep side. And I went there and like I did that thing where you like let all the oxygen out of your lungs and you go to the bottom and i decided to like try to meditate <laughs> under <laughs> at the bottom of like the 10 foot area and i was like oh this, this is going out well and i was like oh i gotta breathe now so as i'm swimming up i'm like fuck i i really need to breathe holy fuck holy fuck and but i actually made it to the top yeah yeah yeah, yeah you do that just jump up just no, this jump. is like ten feet. So like, I had nothing in in my feet to like push myself up, and this is all like, oh my body God. like going ah ah ah. Just scary. <laughs> I've, I've done that in like the pool, but it's like uh, you know like eight feet or something. So it's like I I would just kind of I let out all my breath, all my air and my breath or whatever, and then like, I just jump up and like eventually I catch on to the to the to the yeah. That's how I got to the top. Like I, I was like trying to feel for like the thing, and like I grabbed like the edge of the of the thing and like pulled myself up the rest of the way. It was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. Ten feet. It's it was cool though. I'm, I'm actually pretty pretty decent when it comes to swimming. Yeah. Mhm. I never learned. I'm okay, but it's like just for a little bit. Like I boo, 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 and then I got to start breathing. Yeah. This is crazy. I could swim like while coming up for for air and shit, like doing yeah, like that. Yeah, <gasps> yeah, I can't do that. Like I just get water in my mouth and like I start choking and it's like. Ugh. You just gotta like know when to breathe. That's the thing, because at you start like in your own head, you start like panicking a little bit and you want to like breathe right away, mm-hmm. but that's when the water's coming in your face. Gotcha. And then, like, I, I uh, pools is different. Like, I'm good with pools. I can't do the beach anymore. And the beach, I, the most you see me is, like, right here. I mean, like, in my stomach, and that's it. Once I, once it starts getting, like, towards, like, my chest, nope, I'm going back. Like, <laughs> fucking yeah, like, right here is my limit. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember the yard when, um, um, when our cousin got married. We went to, like, a, a beach, like, deep. In like some mountain area or whatever and we all got drunk and patroned it like i went mad far swimming on that beach and I, at some point i was like damn i'm fucking far <laughs> <laughs> but i kept going because i was like drunk but i was fine though like so like, i'm like i said i'm i'm 
I'm okay when it comes to swimming. So I find my way back. He's like, I'm gonna die, but I'm excited at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna die, but I don't care. <laughs> this patron is hitting me hard. <laughs> yeah. I remember once in Jones Beach, I, I went swimming far, and I went down, and like while I was stroking, my hand grabbed like a jellyfish by accident. Cause I knew it was a jellyfish because it was like jelly. Like I held like a jelly thing. I was like, oh shit, and let go, and like I got mad scared, and I swam back. <laughs> I was a little kid. But I didn't wow. get stung or anything. Yeah, so that was a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Probably the top of it. It's a good jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, he's cool, man. You can touch me. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's just a kid. No home. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh, okay, he's a kid. <laughs> it's a I'm kid a grabbing me aggressively. <laughs> uh, was it with your right hand? Was it with your left hand? It was with my left hand. Oh, man. My most important yeah. hand. Yeah, he's like, a lefty. <laughs> I can't yeah. do this good. He has a rough already. This gets <laughs> cut off on fucked. That's it. I know that's one of like, like the, the main mysteries of like the brain. Like people writing with their left hand and their right hands. Mm-hmm. You don't know why some people go towards the left hand and others to the right. Yeah. Or yeah, most to people. the right. Has to be something with the brain. I remember Nicole told me once that you you write with your left hand because you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know why she told you that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was in high school, though. So. I'm sure she told you that out of nowhere, too. <laughs> like you were Maybe. eating. She's like, hey, you, you know left-handed people are evil, right? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, you know why they call him Fred Diablo, right? Because he's left handed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's lefty and he's evil. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know what? I, I could do one thing a lot of right handed people cannot do. Throw ninja that? stars on my left hand. <laughs> Probably do it. Your left hand? I'm 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 a little ambidextrous. Like I can I when I play baseball, like I can bat on both sides. Yeah. Uh, what kind of fucking dark I, magic is this? And I tried drawing a little. Like I can draw a little bit. I definitely could draw like at the same time if I want to do some like weird shit when I'm doing two things at the same time. Okay. Like if I'm doing like two halves, I can definitely do that. Like with my so, with my left hand, I can write Freddy, but with, if I try that with my right hand, it'll come out as Freddy. Oh, messed up. <laughs> yeah, I'm able to switch. Like I don't know why. Like sometimes I cut my meat with the. <laughs> With oh, my right hand, hand and I like and then with my left hand I could do it also. It's just wow. Human it's like yeah. That I could do too. Like with my right hand, like cut onions or something. Yeah. No, but like it's like little things, like um I don't know. Like drawing I could throw a little bit, but it's like depends on how I throw it. Not like if I'm trying to throw like a baseball, yeah. I'm like nah, I can't do that. It looks weird. Like, it would be all right, but it looks weird. Yeah. But, like, if it's, like, something I just want to throw, like, whatever, you know? <laughs> Super yeah. easy. I could throw, like, a ball with my right hand, but with my left hand, I could, like, throw that shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Lefties are evil. That's the main point we were trying to make. <laughs> Lefties are what? Are evil? Are evil. Yeah. Sure. True. You know it's not evil. We might be getting a Nova movie. Oh, oh shit! I'm hyped for that. Super Nova. Oh, shit. I'm not I a big mean... Nova guy, but the only reason I'm hyped for that because that raises the chances for uh, Annihilation. Mm. Maybe yeah. not movie, but um, phase. Yeah, it has to be a, definitely a cosmic phase in the works. 
Yeah, yeah that'd be so cool, cool man. man. Like, they're going to introduce the Fantastic Four soon, so you know, I have to go open mad doors. Oh, yeah. Into the negative zone. Annihilus. Yeah. Annihilus. <sighs> Galactus. Super <laughs> Surfer. Yeah. All those guys are coming, so the next Marvel event has to be cosmic. And people will go along with the ride, man, because it's going to be weird. What was yeah. that edgy character that they tried to, like, push during Annihilation? I, f- I forgot his name. It's like Wraith. Or, or Reaver, oh, yeah, I think it was Rafe. Rafe? Yeah, yeah, Rafe. I think it was Rafe. <laughs> what, what was his deal? It was something. He was like some alien dude with like white long hair. Yeah, yeah. Who had like I guess a symbiote of some kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he rode like a motorcycle in through space or some shit like that. And he had like a symbiote yeah. poncho of some kind. Are you thinking about Cosmic Ghost Rider? Oh, no, I'm not. I remember <laughs> they retconned Wraith into <laughs> his oh, abilities Ghost having something to do with the symbiote. Oh, okay. Oh. But I don't this. remember too well exactly what he does. I remember he was just like mad edgy, and he had long yeah. hair and a motorcycle that he flies through into space. Yeah, right? yeah. I wonder what happened to him. They never touched up on him after <laughs> Annihilation. Yeah. I don't think they did. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I read all the Gallic- Guardian stuff after, like here and there. I wasn't really following like that after. Oh, yeah. That's what got me into yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, actually. Annihilation. Yeah. Dope story, and I. That That's probably my favorite Guardians incarnation. Like the one where Star Lord's always wearing the helmet. And they have like the uniforms that match up with each other. And um, the cricket dude from the Micronaut verse was there. Wasn't he from the Micronauts or something like that? The cricket. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. He was Bug. I think his name was Bug, wasn't it? Yeah. Some shit like that. And the Russian dog, Cosmo. Oh, yeah. Even Cosmo. though he had the, his uh, appearance in the movies. Yeah. Hopefully he comes. That was out actually one of my favorites. Yeah, he's a good character. Hopefully he's he's in volume three. Yeah. Cosmo. So which, which Nova would you want? Richard Ryder or Sam Richards? Oh, Sam. What the fuck is his name? Sam, Sam Alexander. Sam Alexander. The yeah. right choice would be Sam Alexander, uh-huh. but I want Richard Ryder. I want to see the Nova Prime. Nova Prime. You know, it's going to be a Dick Ryder joke <laughs> in there. <so. laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That's so exactly what I was thinking. Not to pass up. Be like, uh, Dick Ryder, he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> what do like some bully say or some shit in the beginning of the movie? They're like, you want Dick Ryder? He's right there. Or start off with with Dick Ryder and like if he gets too old for the roles, bring in Sam Alexander. Yeah, yeah, you got to see Sam Alexander being like the sidekick for a while, like in oh yeah, like, uh, any more of those movies. But yeah, I just want to see more cosmic stuff from Marvel, man. Like Yeah, me too. I want more cosmic crap. Man. Especially since they they pretty much keeping nothing big's gonna happen on Earth for a while, I think. While they're while they're at it, if they should throw in like the Shi'ar at some point in some movie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. They yeah, they have the property now, so yeah. they, it could be too Plant hard. that seed. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just have mad shit coming But up. then they then they're just gonna start off with Phoenix, like in a sense. They don't necessarily have to. They could just like plant the Shi'ar seed like early on, and then Mm -hmm. touch up on that during the Phoenix like way later and shit. Okay. All right. Because the Shi'ar doesn't necessarily have to be like part of a phase. They could just show up as like a cameo during a war or something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Galactic Storm. You never know. The Eternals is uh, supposedly the open up bad doors for a bunch of shit. Oh yeah. In the phase I'm hearing. So Hopefully they we'll they touch up on like the Thanos origin during Eternals. Oh yeah, they gotta have to. Yeah. He's like he was raised on Titan. That's part of the Eternals. Some of the Eternals left Earth and went there. That's where they they stayed in Titan. Yeah. And he destroyed. Well, supposedly they destroyed themselves. I don't yeah, think Thanos supposedly they destroyed themselves. So. They could wreck on that and make it like Thanos just killed everybody. 
Just, just, show show him. Him. just show him doing all that. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah he, he probably did the... Uh, well, no, no, that wouldn't work, right? That he has all... That he would snap the fingers. And oh, no, 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 no. I don't that know what would happen. Before... Like, in the comics, he... Like, in the beginning, he became a pirate, and he just, like, went from... No, I'm saying... I just meant like there was there they could say that he did that, but it was like because oh, like he needs the stones for that. A, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So forget what I just said. <laughs> no, I, I would argue like instead of snapping, he just killed everybody himself. There we go. Because in the comics, like after he he literally killed everybody in Titan, and Ooh. then he just became a pirate and just went from planet to planet killing everybody for fun. Wow. Peace, pirate. Yeah, and then he was just like fuck all these ladies and once they'll give birth and their kids will mature he would go looking for them and kill them well and why he would do that i guess because he he's worried that they'll become more powerful than him or something uh, they never sure. really I, at least i never came across to the point where they explained it okay but he just kills all his biological children it's like uh what is it um cronus like Zeus is like Zeus's yeah, father. Eats all his kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of like that. Yep. You heard they're making a live action Hercules. Yeah. I'm Marvel excited. Hercules. No Disney. Oh, uh, oh Disney, Disney Hercules. Uh, I heard about yeah. that. Yeah. I just don't want them to change because the thing is Hercules is about it's about Hercules. Yeah, yeah. You know, we talked about this. Like, so like in Aladdin. It's a, it's about Aladdin. It's not about Jasmine. I don't care that she's a woman and all this shit and a Disney princess. Get out of my face. It's about Aladdin. Like, yeah. you know, so they're going to mess this up and make Megara like president or something. Or make her a goddess. Somehow, watch. It's going to piss me no, off. Because like, <laughs> doesn't, like, in the mythology, he ends up marrying her. Like, that's his wife, right? No, the mythology, he's already married. Like, um, he's he basically has a family, like a, a mother and like a wife and like a daughter or something. And something happens, they get killed. So he wants to get them back. And then he goes, he has to, uh, he, like, he goes to somebody. I forgot what it goes. He goes to somebody where they tell him, like, okay, well, you got to do these 12, um, these 12, like, missions. And that's where it's like, you know, go go kill this um, freaking uh, lion that's, like, terrorizing this, this, uh, you know, um, this like neighborhood or whatever, and then uh, or like uh, uh, kill the Hydra, you know, the fucking you know, or the giant warthog yeah. and shit like that. These are these things that you see in the in even in the Disney movie that when you, they're doing the montage, like he grabs the one snake and he like whatever, you know, he grabs this, he does that, or kind of shit. Uh, like the, the 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 lion that like you know he has on his on his like you know when he's having that pose, he's doing a pose for like a the, for like a painting. He has a lion and his scar. From the Lion King, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that's you know like stuff like that that is like um, so eventually like he I think he like does the he does all twelve of them and then he doesn't like get his wish anyways and he just dies I forget what it is it's something like that it's not it's not a happy story it's not yeah. <laughs> tragic yeah and then Megara I'm assuming they took the name Megara because that's I'm assuming that's the name of his wife. That he, you know, yeah, and, you know what I'm saying? I, that's his uh, and his wife. He he he's the one that ends up killing his wife. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, because Hera put him up to it. Hera put him like on the spell, or something. Oh, okay, yeah. See, kill his I wife. just remember that. I remember like the broader. I just don't remember the details. And like nah, during all of that, Zeus turns into a goose and bangs a hot lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Hey, Hercules, watch this." <laughs> 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 while while he, Hercules is killing his whole family, he's just, he's just... <laughs> like this. <laughs> I don't even have to do this. <laughs> oh, damn, Greek mythology is weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in the in in this you know in the Disney version, it's it's very Supermanish. It's very like yeah, yeah. he lands on Earth and and since he's uh, you know no longer a god because they took away his god powers. Um, like uh, they can't save him. Like the you know, like Zeus and and Hera. Hera's like a good person in the Disney version. Oh, she, she is. Yeah, the only evil one is Hades in the in the Disney version. So like uh, in this one, like um, 
So he, so he's in Earth and he's very like he has all these superpowers, but he's like a normal kid, so he doesn't understand why. <laughs> and like everyone thinks he's a freak and all this shit. And then so he knows that there's something like more to him. And then he goes to like the the, the statue of Zeus and he like gets a message from Zeus. And Zeus is like, hey, like you're actually like my son. So if you can you know be a hero uh, or learn to be a hero. Uh, you can become a you know come to, to olympus and like become a god or whatever mm-hmm. so then that's when he like f- finds F- philoctetes which is the little danny devito character the little like uh goat man can that like trains them under a bridge <laughs> that's a line from yeah. the hercules animated movie mm-hmm. yes <laughs> so uh yeah and then you know he that's and he finds megara because megara like is uh she is like uh, has the debt to Hades, and so he has to, she like seduces Hercules and all this bunch of shit. So it's like all she, her role in the movie is only to be like where you think she's evil at the beginning, and then to turn out like you know she's actually just she's um you know like pressured into you know forced to do these things. So, but like I just have this feeling that they're gonna remake it and they're gonna make her into like a more superhero type character, you know. Because yeah. everything has to be progressive now, and everything has to be where like the women are the ones that are the heroes. And well, know? they just stick to the story. Like she pretty, she has a decent role in the, in the original animated film. I don't think she's like just a background character in that. No, she's not. But like, uh, it, it's just, it's just that idea. <laughs> it's just that like um, her role is just you know, it's purely the the love interest you know yeah, love it. yeah, yeah love it. so so it's like uh but she's not a disney princess you know okay. so i just feel like they're gonna try to get make that happen you know make it yeah, like which like okay. yeah where they're just trying to make her i don't know because they always do that it's uh, and, I, and i get it because the disney princess is a thing it's a like marketable thing you know yeah so it makes sense but it's just i just don't want her to do that Cause... Well, there's rumors talking about they want um Adriana Grande. Ariana Grande? Uh, yeah, Ariana Grande. To be Megara? <laughs> exactly, uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> gonna make like three songs for her, original songs just for mm-hmm. her. Yep. So I already know. You're already confirming. <laughs> well, that's gonna... a rumor. I don't know if we can push it. Not Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Or anything yeah. like that, was arms crossed, like mm-hmm. no, I, don't like it. I no. don't like it. They're gonna, they're gonna make Pete Davidson Hercules. <laughs> That's another thing. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, what's that guy's name? Who the guy who does all these, um, all the like super bad and uh, uh, uh no, not Jonah Hill, the other uh, the director, McLovin, uh, Job oh. Ap- Apto. Judd Je- Apatow needs to stop trying to make Pete Davidson a thing. Like, just stop. <laughs> I like so Pete I'm Davidson. He's, a, he's know, a good stand-up, but like, yeah, don't yeah. these movies need to stop? I'm assuming you saw the trailer for the new one. That yeah. Out with? Yeah. Yep. And I saw the the one, the first one that he did, the one where like him and like this little kid and like he's oh, like yeah. best friends with like this kid that like dated like that not uh this kid that was like the little brother of a girl he dated. Yeah. Yeah. Just to hang out after they broke up or something. Yeah, the movie was so fucking just a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> and Pete Davidson is still Pete Davidson, so it's kind of like, oh, so you don't play other parts, so hence, I don't need to watch this. I can just watch your stand-up. That's it. Yeah, because pretty yeah. much this movie with Judge Apatow, the, the King of Staten Island, it's just his life story, pretty much. Yeah. So he's like, nope, not don't care for this. Don't you guys get it? It's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> uh, Bill Burr's in it. I was like, oh, Bill Burr. Oh, right. oh, okay. He yeah. plays like his mom's new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> his mom's Melissa Tomei in this. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Again, you know, Judge Apatow loves his fucking long ass movies, man. I'm just That's saying, true. two and a half hours. Yeah. And you could feel those two and a half hours. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. All I saw from the preview was um, when he's like, oh, you know, like they're like, "Oh, what's those numbers in your arm?" Oh, this is when my dad died. You know, and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "Oh, you know, yeah." And it's like, "Oh, you know, he died in 9-11. And all this oh. and all that, you know, so it's like, "Ah, uh, your dad died in five? 
<laughs> wow. Oh, man. Deep. Should I have a person? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How are you um, to give to Judge Apt? <laughs> well, because <laughs> I knew... <laughs> They're going to make Pete Davidson Hercules. But it might just replace Robert Patterson with Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. Back to the Snyder Cut. <laughs> <laughs> the Snyder Cut is uh, Pete Davidson as... Uh, what is it? Dark Side? Dark side. Dark side. <laughs> <laughs> He's dark side. He's like, look at me, it's dark side. <laughs> I'm dark side. But my dad died, so I'm evil now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. It's true. That's what happens. <laughs> Freddy, I'm... <laughs> I'm evil. So do you think? Yeah. So it's more than likely we're getting a black Superman suit for a Snyder cut, right? Yeah. Cause Oh yeah, he's for so long that I was like, "God damn it, you guys better show us something." If I were him, I would subvert everybody's expectations and just bring out a black Superman. <laughs> that would be it's not a black suit; just a black Superman. <laughs> just black Superman. Everybody's yeah. expecting a black suit. I'm gonna go all the way. Make it so when they black. when they resurrect and when they wrestle Superman, he just comes back from the dead black. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have Michael B. Jordan as Black Superman? Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to act like Superman, though. He's going to act like um, the Black Panther guy. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Eric he probably, he, probably back, he probably goes back to Kansas. Be like, hey, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, mommy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, daddy That's... dead? He died during yeah. a hurricane? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about Krypton anymore. <laughs> All this power, and you don't want to help our people that look like us? Don't you see our people suffering? <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> I um, think he would have been a good Superman. I know. He was actually, I liked him in Black Panther. He was great in Black Panther. Yeah. The best part. Man. So we'll see. Marvel needs to stop killing off their villains, though. <laughs> They're killing off all of them. Mm-hmm. Even Loki. They said they have so many characters, they could do whatever. And be yeah. like, oh, I'm going to go see this. They can make the crappiest villain like super good in, when they release them in the movies. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say Zemo, because Zemo's pretty good in the comic books. Well, he's going to be in uh, Winter Soldier sh- and Falcon shows. So. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They didn't kill him. No, they didn't kill him. They, that's, yeah, you know. How about uh, the Leaper guy? <laughs> Captain America <laughs> fought. Bot, Bat, Rock. Bot Rock the Leaper? <laughs> that was uh, guy either. Joyce St. Pierre, right? Yeah. yeah. His yes. only line was, Hey! 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 <laughs> no, he said something about his shield. Like, I was expecting more from you, Captain. Oh, yeah, that's right. He had, he had the costume that was pretty accurate, too. Yeah, it was pretty accurate to the comics. Like, yeah. it, it worked in the real world, you know what I mean? That was, that was a good callback. That's one thing I hope it with the Snyder Cut, too, that he gets weird with it. If you're going to go all out, yeah. bro, it could be your last run. Just I mean, Marvel brought weird. up Batrock the Leaper. His powers is jumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, good at jumping. <laughs> Yeah, imagine that he's just gonna be mad petty and just try to jam mad cameos in our faces. So you know, <laughs> every scene there's a cameo. <laughs> then all the fans will be like, "You see, he had all this plan. Let him finish his trilogy." And then that's gonna see, be like the new thing. This is actual Justice League. Everybody who is ever in the Justice League is in this movie. <laughs> but I need to make two more for everybody to get their story told. <laughs> yeah, that way you can tell everybody's story. All 60 members of the Justice League. <laughs> we got one down, two more to go, guys. I know you're... That's right, it's going to be three movies. And I hear, like, in the second movie, Superman's supposed to be constantly in the black costume. He yeah. gets his normal costume in the third movie. Hmm. 
That's great. All black Superman for a whole. Are they gonna leave his mustache? No, they they're gonna cut those scenes out. Yeah. yeah. All those scenes Uh-oh. were reshoots. Oh, okay. Right? Those were the Josh Whedon scenes. I hand they have to the kids. New technology that'll make removing his mustache a lot easier. They're gonna they're gonna put a, a beard on him now. Yeah. They're actually <laughs> gonna they're gonna take a cutout of him talking without the mustache and paste it over his face. Makes sense. Yeah. So you just gotta sync up what they're gonna say with what he's saying before. I think that was a good scene though with him and the Flash at the end. You know, they do the little race. That was cool. Yeah. That Actually, like my Superman. favorite scene from Justice League was when they were fighting Superman, and mm-hmm. the Flash was trying to run mad fast, and you see Superman like catch up with him, like looking yeah. at him and shit. That part was yeah. so dope. Yeah, that was so fun. Had his moments. Yeah. I don't know. I just well, gotta see. Much it. Yeah. My I man. See what, what this guy's got. My have. man. <laughs> my man. Don't forget that part. When I was in the theaters and I said that, like I, I stood up and like pulled up my, my sleeve and I had a barbed wire tattoo. And I was like, yeah! Yeah! It's tribal. It's tribal. Yeah, bro! <laughs> I was wearing sandals. <laughs> oh, man. I did that, yeah. that ho- aggressive Hawaiian dance that he does. <laughs> The haka. The haka. Yo, every every Samoan wrestler has the same tattoos. They would have the like chest piece with the yeah. sleeve. Yeah. Every Samoan wrestler, I repeat, every Samoan wrestler has at least one arm. <laughs> fully, fully and chest. Because of the rock. And they're always like yeah. super nice. <laughs> 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 I want to see somebody who's not Samoan rock those tats. Oh, yeah. There's so oh, many people that do that shit. There has to be some douche bro out there. Be like, has that shit on him right now. Hey, man. No <laughs> cultural appropriation in my house. <laughs> right, you better be Hawaiian with that tattoo. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. You better be like... You're not like... Hawaiian. <laughs> like, Your name's Tyler. Hispanic? What? <laughs> I don't know what he is. Yeah. It's like he's mixed. Yeah. Unless unless everybody else questions like what you are, you're not Hawaiian. <laughs> is he Filipino? Like Filipino? <laughs> he's one of those little Asian countries in the water. They're like a perfect in between of everything. True. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're like, the they're... actual Pangeans. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the little break before you go home. <laughs> like, you, go to the you go in, like, all right, interesting. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody having mixed babies? Yeah. You ever seen like the the computer generating the computer generation of a picture of like what it'll what everybody will look like in the future once all the races are mixed. Yeah. It's like a, a redhead with like Hispanic skin or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody's gonna just be mad like Like we're we're all gonna be clowns in the future. Like safe space and uh snowflake. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has red <laughs> hair and freckles. Yeah. And dye their hair orange and blue or whatever. And the mm-hmm. accent is this. <laughs> It's an accent that nobody has. <laughs> yeah, but like, the, 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 the... yeah, it's pretty much everybody's, everybody's gonna be a mixed kid, like pretty much like a white and black kid mixed. Like, yeah, that's true. how everybody's gonna look in the future. But there's still gonna be like the dominant features, like a redhead looking like that, and hopefully weird. not not the white black was like super white skin on like oh, no, no. black features. <laughs> No. With like blonde hair and blonde eyebrows. <laughs> I think those are albinos you're talking about. <laughs> no, because their albinos are actually like white. So like they they you know what I mean? Yeah. What Freddie's talking about is like like black albinos. <laughs> yeah, but no, but like I know, I know, I know what Freddie's talking about. <laughs> Just, white... <laughs> Just white eyebrows and white hair. There was a there was a black albino around in my mom's neighborhood. There was like this kid that 
I don't know. He was like kind of my age or maybe a little older, but he was on a vinyl, but he was black. So he had like a whole white body with the black features. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that looks crazy. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. And when I was a yeah. kid, I would think like, what are you? <laughs> and that was before I understood any of that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Yo, what is this? Yeah. As a kid, seeing that for the first time, you went, what the fuck is this? And then suddenly some yeah. Indian-looking dude talks to me with, like, a Jamaican accent, and I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, where am I? Yeah, what's going on? That guy, the black-white guy, and now the, what? <laughs> am I racist? <laughs> like, damn, I gotta leave my block more often. Yeah. Damn, I gotta go to Chinatown more often. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See all types of shit. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for the show, guys. You got anything yeah. to add? or? Did we get through all the topics? Yeah, pretty much. I think that was like... uh, Oh, that was the Boba Fett news. Oh, Madden right. I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that... Uh... Timothy Ofet? Ofet? Something like that? I don't know how to pronounce it. Ofet? His name already sounds like Boba Fett. Yeah. Oba Fett. <laughs> Timothy Obafet? Come on. Like he, was, uh, he was in... I can't um, read through the lines. He was in Scream 2. The killer in Scream 2. The, the film... Story. Oh, that guy. Yeah, the hitman. The guy who played hitman. The hitman, yeah. He's going to be wearing Boba Fett's armor, supposedly. Oh. So it's not going to be Boba Fett in it. It's going to be this dude in it. Which should be crazy because there's gonna be a guy cool. with Boba Fett's armor in the show. Yeah. So now <laughs> like, like, how... Hey, where, where'd you get that? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> I found it in the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> Maybe the the creature spit this dude out, but he was already dead, so he just <laughs> he's just walking by and he just sees a skeleton <laughs> with Boba Fett stuff on. But you're not gonna be needing this anymore. Yeah, oh, that guy's dead. He's not going to need that all that armor. Yeah. Hey, give me all that there, sir. Oh, that guy looks like one of those clone army guys. Yeah. <laughs> so that uh, means the dude, uh, the dude, the actor that's coming back, that he's probably going to end up playing Rex only. Oh, it's going to be Rex in Boba Fett's armor? No, mm-hmm. I'm saying like uh, the actor that is. Oh, the I see. In the Clone Wars. Yeah, everyone thought he's gonna come back being Boba Fett, but maybe he's just coming back being Rex, ah. which would make sense because uh, 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 Soka's in it. That's true. Supposedly in the second season too, so maybe they're partnering Rosario up. For Dawson. Yeah. So or maybe, um, maybe it's his voice as Boba Fett, but it's this guy's in the body in the suit. Well, they're not gonna hire this dude and just keep him in a suit all the time. That's true, but you never know. Maybe it's that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, I would have just hired the actual Boba Fett, the guy who yeah. played Boba Fett before in the costume. <laughs> He's probably like eighty years old now. Yeah, he can still do it. I think he died. Oh, he did. Yeah. I mean, so, probably. Yeah. He could reanimate corpses with today's technology. That's true. Yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> I'm back <laughs> as Boba Fett. <laughs> and then Rogue One with uh. <laughs> The general the Tarkin, general. yeah, General Tarkin. <laughs> I think that was pretty bad CGI. It was, yeah, like, yeah, this guy's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <We are. laughs> like, that guy definitely died. Leia wasn't like, that bad, it's CGI, but the face looks like it's still from the 70s. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, we're not fooling anybody here. <laughs> we know Let's blow up this planet full of all these groovy teens. <laughs> you had better luck so they just dug him up from the grave and just started <laughs> <parading him away. laughs> wait was it Coruscant that he blew up no it wasn't was it no it was, it was uh what was Leia's Leia's planet Alderaan. Alderaan Alderaan there you go Alderaan blew that up but yeah, man, season two of The Mandalorian looks like it'll be sick, though. Yeah. yeah. Can't I can't wait. I want to see more Baby Yoda because it's adorable, like everybody says. 
Maybe we'll see more powers. Maybe he'll have force yeah. lightning. Now. That'd be yeah. cool. Imagine that force lightning coming out. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be some fucked up shit man you're an assassin about to kill baby yoda then he just like takes you down with force lightning <laughs> like bam gotcha he's like ah fuck <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst ah. yo but baby yoda been murking few, a few people in the show so far yo he's and... cut people oxygen man he's <laughs> fucked up and that was a friend that was an ally <laughs> imagine like winning an Uno against the Mandalorian and suddenly you can't breathe. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, I lose, I lose. Oh, man. Then you see just getting punched in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were punching Baby Yoda mad hard, those two storm Yeah, that's things. true. That that was... I got I got a little upset when I saw that. I can't do that. Come on. You just stroke his head a few times and he'll just go to sleep. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> Punch him in the face. Like. <laughs> I don't have time for stroking. He's <laughs> fifty years old anyway. <laughs> oh, that's right. Baby Yodas are, are fifty years human years, right? Yeah. Uh, you gotta take a punch. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, they can take a punch. He's fifty years old. <laughs> can take a human punch. <laughs> but is it, is it like the way dogs are? Like like basically uh like he's 50 you know 50 years old human years but like in yoda years is he like 12 maybe yeah <laughs> like, the opposite or like five he's like a toddler i think at this point I see. yeah it's like three he didn't really talk like that either yet like you as an adult could fight a three-year-old dog <laughs> okay but not a three-year-old baby yoda because that's just like a fetus <laughs> <laughs> it'll be one of those uh what tadpoles those little the baby frogs right yeah mm -hmm. tadpoles. sperm tadpole sperm big sperm oh. <laughs> you want to put sperm in the face honey? thick sperm really big thick sperm <laughs> you want to put some sperm in the face ernie no i'm good <laughs> <laughs> That baby Yoda. No, they... <laughs> Sperm right now. Somebody wants to That's crazy you. how Tapos just read sperm. Yeah. That's crazy. Biology. Like, fish you know goes what? nuts for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like their uh, it's like their veal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, let's end this before we get peed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, thanks for listening, guys. Those on Spare Twitch. Our life too. <laughs> like always, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one, and we're just a couple of assholes with some opinions. Peace. Peace, yo. <laughs> yeah, All I gotta right. make, I gotta add the sound effects for that. <laughs> it's so off whenever he, whenever he plays it. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel.